Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 8. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball, and we're here on GM Games, where I'm guest blogging. Appreciate you guys dropping by, and appreciate you guys checking out the content here. Alright, let's get into it. So as I said last episode, I usually record two episodes right back to back, and then those go up the following week. So last episode I mentioned, leave some comments. We're going to try a new, little bit of a different format. I have already simmed ahead. You can see we are here in-game January 15th, but we are actually on February 16th. I've already simmed all the games. I have not looked at the results. You and I don't know the outcomes just yet. And uh, but let's find out together, shall we? Uh, let me know because I do, you know, when I was going day to day or, or you know, game to game, um, you know, I was pausing it between or, or editing out the, the pauses between uh, box scores. But, um, you know, figured we'd try this. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So moving ahead, we beat Central Arkansas 81-67. So our winning streak continues. Ow. Ow. We were up 45-26 at the break. They did outscores by five in the second half, but it was too little, too late. Bickerstaff with 15. Degala with a huge game for him. That's got to be a career high. 20 points and 10 for Evans. Uh, nobody in double digits off the bench, but Harris and Powell, the normal dynamic duo off the bench, did combine for 15 points and three boards. So good start to the sim as we got the win and extend our win streak. We move down the t uh, timeline here and Sam Houston. Ah, what what the what the what the hell? We lost. Really? 78-69. The win streak has come to a screeching halt and it's not the team I thought it would be. We were down 1 at the break and then they outscored us by 8 in the second half. Nobody fouled out. Nobody was really in foul trouble. Uh, let's see. Boddicker put up 23 points for him. He was a one-man wrecking crew. How do, you, how do you lead your team with 23 points and only be the number two plus minus guy? As I mentioned, don't understand it. Leave a comment if you do and want to educate me. Tell me how to figure it out. I, I, I know it's an important stat, but yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, 16 points on a negative 11. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, 11 points off the bench for Powell. Uh, Harris only played 12 minutes, ended up with six points. And Walls, seven assists. Where did that come from? 16 points for Evans. All in all, looks like a solid game, but uh, defense seems to have failed us. Where did they get their buckets here? 47%. So they had eight more shots. They hit three more. One of them was a three. And two extra foul shots on four extra attempts. So it was close, but we fall on the short end of the stick there. Now, did it cost us more than one or did we rebound? We did rebound. 82-63 win a couple of days later against Nichols State. Bickerstaff goes for 22. The backcourt combines for 30, 15 points apiece. That's nice. Our two guard led the way with six rebounds. That's either we didn't miss many shots or that's a little troubling. One, one of the two. Bickerstaff, four of five from behind the arc. Gotta like that. Shot 44% from behind the arc. I do like that number a lot. A lot. So that's a big win to get things back on the right track. 89.50 over Stephen F. Austin, the Lumberjacks. I drive through there all the time. Uh, that's up in uh, Nacogdoches, Texas. I, head, I go up there every couple of, every few weeks. Uh, with my job. Oh, got a call today. We are back uh, five days a week. The coronavirus is over, according to my boss, and uh, we're out working every day. Nothing to worry about. Bachman, 21 points. Walls, a 21-point game. A plus 40. I don't know that I've ever seen a plus-minus that high. That's 
That's pretty strong. 11 boards with 8 points for Degala And Jeffries, an unusual appearance on the scoring chart with 10 points. Did we have uh, only... See, he gets a plus 20 and he only scored 2 and had 2 boards. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, well. But we got the win by 39. I'll be happy. I will be happy. A four-point win over McNeese. Now, this was the game I was looking forward to because I was like, you know, they only had one loss. They were one game behind us in the loss column, and uh, that was the one I was worried about. So we pull that out by four. They led by six at the break, and we outscored them by ten to steal the win down the stretch. 13 for Bickerstaff, a dozen for Degala, Bachman with 11. They combined for 19 boards in the front court, 11 boards from the back court, and 17 points for that duo. So that's nice. And we were going to go through, I think that was it today, right? No, no, we're only February 1st. We got a couple of weeks left. Uh, let's see. 78-62 over Central Arkansas. So there's another victory. 15 points for Walls. 11 for Bickerstaff and Evans. Harris picks up 9 off the bench. Shooting almost 40% from 3-point range. That's, that's strong. We're not taking a lot of shots, but we're making them count. That is very good news. 66-49 over Incarnate Word. Bickerstaff with 21 and 9 boards. 10 and 10. Bachman gets a double double. I think his first of the season. And Degala gets 10 points as well. 11 points off the bench for Daniels. Got to like that. And again, 40, almost 42% from three point range. You're going to win a lot of games if you shoot 40%, even if you don't take a lot. Maybe we ought to be taking more. Something to consider. Something for us to consider. Sam Houston. Oh, Sam Houston lost there. We didn't play. And a, oh. I always seem to play down to my opponent's level. 10-point loss to Abilene Christian. Eight points for Bickerstaff. 11, 11 points, seven boards, six assists for Degala. Our center is our leading assist maker. 25 points for Evans. He had a big game and ended up with a minus five plus minus ratio. And eight points for Daniel, seven for Powell. Harris did not score. And he went 0 for 10. He laid the egg. Wow. And he's usually one of our leading scorers. So he just screwed the pooch today. And that probably cost us the game. I'm going to blame it on him. I'm just going to blame it on him. It's all his fault. <laughs> and this should be... Ooh, we lost back-to-back -back games. That's not good. Bickerstaff with 10, Bachman with 10, 11 for Evans. Everybody was right there together. In fact, even the bench, you know, was eight points for Harris, five and six. Nobody stood out this game. They had 18 from Dent and Hodeman. Hordeman with 14. Dominated us in second chance points. I think that's where they got us think that's where they got us they did end up with uh 18 18 extra shots so they were playing some real fast break action getting it getting us 10 to 4 all right so that should be the last game so let's check our dashboard i guess he's not happy we lost some games today
All right, so last episode we played Lamar as our last game. So six and three this go round. You know, I'm looking over here. Can't wait for Glenn Harris next year. I don't think he's going to play much, but I'm just excited to get a seven footer at 304 pounds from England. It's going to be <laughs> just, you know, anyway. Uh, so where does this put us? Well, first off, let's check. Before we jump into the standings, we've got two pages. All right, just in case you're looking for the top 30 Norton candidates, there you go. I don't think we've got anybody in there, but we'll look just to make sure. And the answer is no. And the semifinalists, top 20. Just in case you were worried or looking. All right, we'll delete all the emails. Standings. All right, we're still at top, 19 and 5. We have eclipsed one goal, win 15 or more games. That's good. We're still 7 and 3, so a winning record in our last 10, even though we've lost two in a row. And we are even with McNeese for that number one seed. So what did you guys put last episode in the comments? Where were we going to end up? Well, we still have some games left. We've got, what, six games left? So Texas A&M Corpus Christi is right there, just two games back. A stumble, we could fall all the way to fourth or lower with Abilene Christian showing that they could compete with us at the top as well. That's some good home records, and we are 9-5 and five on the road. Looks like we are the only team in the conference with a winning road record. That bodes well. That bodes well. How many of our games are on the road down the stretch? Two of five. Okay. Five left. Three at home. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So... First, second, somewhere else, you know what to do. Go down there in the comments and let us know. We have reached, as I said, one of our goals, 15 or more games. We've gotten that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little worried about this. I'm thinking we're going to do this, and then we're going to get fired. <laughs> you met all your goals, but here's your pink slip, because that sounds like something my job would do. <laughs> anyway. What else? Anything good? Let's check our recruiting. Uh, that's the committed. All right, so we still, you know, it looks like we've got, oh wow, they're going after this guy, Calvis Hunter, a three star two guard. He looks like he's got a lot of interest. Overall, he's an outside shooter. Can't hit free throws though, but he can play defense. All right, can I override? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. All right, you're here. No scholarships left. Uh, da, 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 recruits offered. Okay, so we've got these two guys. They haven't changed that, so you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to make an executive decision here. I'm going to revoke those. These are two guys I recruited that were out of state. And I'm going to go ahead and offer him a scholarship. All right. We have a couple of JUCO guys from Louisiana. And, again, the AI does not scout them, so I can't see their stuff. But you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to plop a, I'm going to come in and override them here. I'm going to offer Coda. And then I've, I've scouted Nelson. Because I honestly don't know what the AI does. Last time we saw that the whole season, they did sign somebody early, but nobody late. So I'm kind of going off that assumption again. I want to see, I want, I want to offer these guys. So I'm going to let the AI kind of pick these guys, get them on the board, and then I may backtrack and, and you know, make, make some offers just to see what happens. The, the AI may take that off. I don't know. All right, well, we'll call that an episode. I think we're doing really well.
And the two losses probably going to keep us from getting any notice in the polls. Creighton at 18 and 7. So, yeah, we're right in that ballpark. So we're not going to be over some of these higher up clubs. But that is okay. I'm really happy. Another good season shaping up for us. 19 and 5. 12 and 3 in the conference. So next episode should be the end of the season. We will finish up conference play. And then we will look at the conference tournament. And then depending on how long that takes, then we'll either finish out the season with uh, the NCAA tournament as well. Or that may carry over into the following episode to end this season. And then we'll see where we're at. Uh, so we stayed two seasons at Navy. I felt at that point I wasn't hitting any of the goals and that we were going to set ourselves up for failure. I think we've made a good decision to jump here, start building up our, our reputation and uh, setting up for the future. Uh, right now we have officially climbed over the 500 mark this episode as a coach with 62 wins and 54 losses. And we have an average reputation. So uh, things are looking good there. Three years left on the contract here in Natchitoches, Louisiana. And uh, we will see you guys next episode. Don't forget, if you like what's going on, uh, check out the other series going on with the other guest vloggers. They've got uh, a Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball. Uh, I think they've got two of those going on, if I remember correctly, just from what I've seen. Um, but they've got quite a few things going on. And then, uh, you know, give them a like, subscribe to the channel, and then do me a favor if you like what I'm doing with the college basketball jump over to my channel and uh, give me a subscription and a follow over there. Uh, I'm doing Football Manager, currently doing Starters Order 7, which is a horse racing sim, and I am getting ready to start putting up some Planet Base Let's Play. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.